Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2016 NFL Draft Grades video for the New York Giants. We're going to take a look at all of their selections as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. With only six selections, the New York Giants made sure to maximize their picks with a guy that can help them right away. Linebacker B.J. Goodson definitely fills a need and can play either inside backer or outside backer. And tight end Jarrell Adams out of South Carolina had a really good East-West Shrine game week and provides quality rotational depth. There's a lot of mixed opinions on Eli Apple, the cornerback out of Ohio State. I think he can play and he'll do just fine. To be honest, in my opinion, he's a clone of former New York Giant cornerback Prince of Mukamara. Apple has the talent and landed in the perfect spot where he can hone that talent as a rookie. The Giants seem to always land excellent talent at wide receiver and Sterling Shepard out of Oklahoma, in my opinion, will fit in nicely with the G-men. With his ability to do damage in a slot, it'll free up a ton of coverage on the outside for Odell Beckham Jr. as well as Victor Cruz if he's healthy. This is a very strong core for the Giants, and Shepard will remind a lot of Giants fans of former New York Giants Steve Smith. I'm a big fan of the Darian Thompson pick because he's a classic sideline to sideline free safety with ball skills and also has the ability to match up one-on-one -on -one versus receivers and tight ends. His addition will help out last year's second-round pick Landon Collins because he won't have to play as much back deep in coverage. Thompson takes great angles to the football and is able to eliminate mistakes. In the fifth round, the Giants grabbed the elusive running back Paul Perkins out of UCLA, and Perkins may not have the quote-unquote breakaway speed, but he's definitely a breakaway threat because of his ability to string moves together both in the open field and in confined spaces. His good all-around game will definitely warrant a ton of playing time as a rookie. I believe the Giants have a sleeper here in running back Marshawn Coperich out of Illinois State, who is my number two rated tailback in this year's draft class. And Coperich is good in all three facets of the game, as a runner, as a receiver, and also in pass protection. He's also the fastest running back on the Giants roster with low 4-4 speed. I think his burst and explosiveness is very similar to Tampa Bay Buccaneers tailback Doug Martin, and he definitely should make the roster. Greg Milhouse Jr. out of Campbell has a great chance to stick with the Giants. He played nose tackle for the Camels, but I think he can excel as a one-tech, a shade, or even as a three-tech as a pro. His versatility and ability to get to the quarterback will be a welcome addition to the Giants' interior. I gave the Giants an A for their draft this year. In my opinion, they landed four impact players, two on offense and two on defense. I didn't mind them not taking an offensive lineman. I think they're solid depth-wise, and they're going to trust their starting five with their health and continuity going into 2016. This draft overall was a really good one for the Giants. They also landed two outstanding prospects as undrafted free agents.